The PlayStation is absolutely an amazing system, including for light down gaming. However, there are so many different ways to play. So one of them is the Pursuer. I really enjoyed making this video. We're having the Justifier from Konami. We're having the Point Blank 2 kit that I reviewed here on the channel. We have an even the freaking Time Crisis. And yep, more Time Crisis. Oh, there is so much stuff you can play, but which one was the most fun? Let's find out. <laughs> Light Gun Gaming, we have been chit-chatting about it a lot here on the channel. However, there are so many different ways to play and I think I found most of them at this point. So some of them I'm just like founded on a convention or some of them for quite a good amount of money on let's say the marketplace. The PlayStation is a versatile system with many cool games on it. But let's do a quick overview of a couple of let's say the solutions Let's move Twisted Metal because this thing is always in here, one of my favorite games. But we're not going to be talking about Twisted Metal, we're going to be doing some Time Crisis and some other cool games. And which Light Gun is actually like worth buying nowadays. But yep, five different ways to play with so many different solutions. But I had like an overall mixed performance with some of the, let's say, Light Guns. And also when it comes to the experience itself. We're having the original Nemcos, but also a real arcade version in the middle that even have recalled. Yep, and I had it back in the day. Man, it was such a fun way to play the old school games. So let's start off with the number five position and I'm going to be putting this, the Pursuer, for many reasons. So first of all, this is a very lightweight, there's no feedback. We do have like a very nice trigger, but I've noticed, so we do have like a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to the controller. It's not going to be like having like problems with playing the games, but yeah, when you're not going to be playing, you're also noticing that we're only having a star button at the left. We don't have any upgrade ability for a pedal, so when it comes to this, we do have limitations. Navigate through the menu. And then going to the options. Let's see what we can actually do in the option itself. Game mode, okay, street. Blood mode, on and off. <laughs> let's turn it on. Difficulty. Let's put it very easy. Gun calibration. So let's go to the arcade mode. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's get into the game. Whoa! Whoa! No, nope, almost. But what I did notice, if you're going to be choosing the normal game or the, the game itself, then you can actually choose your stage. Now we're going to be playing it as it was on the arcade. Calibration seems to be working fine. Woo, I'm on my roll, man. This game is fast. Oh, that's what I mean. It's absolutely cool to see Lethal Enforcer on PlayStation 1, but when you're looking at this particular model, mm, you know, it's very limited. So that's the reason why I'm going to be putting it on basically position number 5. So next up, we're having the position number 4. I'm going to be putting this particular game controller thingy in here, and the reason is very simple. So when you're going to be looking into the Namco gun, it's absolutely awesome. This is such a cool controller, but we do need a special adapter, and we can only play the point blank games with this particular, let's say, light gun. So we are quite limited when it comes to that. So, but let's get into some gameplay and just have some fun. Sweet. Indeed. I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. How many times I actually play it is. What's kind of interesting, we don't have a pedal with this, so we're going to be playing it without. Holding button will go up. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's see how fast we can go through the stage itself. Action. I can still remember there is this orange guy. That guy over there. Oh. Going back to this. Man, Time Cry is still one of my favorite games to play. Oh yeah! <laughs> but the library of light gun games on the PlayStation is absolutely amazing. There we go. Come on, show yourself. Woo! Ah yeah! Okay, the left guy, the orange one. Okay, give me a couple of seconds extra. Let's see how far we can go. 
okay? Oh, there he is, another red guy. I love it how they have like different colors of characters that will give you an idea how good they are. Okay, let's blow it up. It's more like a cheat over here. And we are finished this part of the stage. That's how easy it is, man. Woo! Over one minute. That's not bad at all. So the Nemco gun is absolutely awesome, but when it comes to the limitations with some games, yeah, you're limited to in certain games like Point Blank, Time Crisis. We do have like a lot of great games out there, but it's very limited. Next up, let's take a close look at the number yeah, four. It's kind of weird, but it's another Nemco light gun. Yeah, it's actually in different region. I do give this thing a little bit of high ranking because man, the color is just cool. I love it. It's something different. But maybe this makes no sense of putting it on different, but it's a little bit higher than the other one because I do love this color. However, let's get into the game today because we do have a different region game with this. And this plays so much better. Bad boy in, in the back, otherwise it doesn't work. And let's go and let's check it out. Okay, everything seems to be working just fine. <laughs> so let's get into the game itself and let's see what we can actually change out. So everything is in Japanese, but... By the way, I love this very cool tune. Never knew what it was like inside of the option. I really hate this part, by the way. Still get the idea that I need to recalibrate this freaking thing. Oh yeah. Make it more annoying, come on. <laughs> yep, because of different regions, we have so much more better speed. No Paul crap when it comes to that. And yeah, I just wanted to give it a different position. Next up, let's take a close look at the Konami. Yep, the Konami is absolutely, a, let's say, a very universal one. We can use it for all kinds of different systems, but let's get in some gameplay and do a quick overview of the Konami light gun itself. <laughs> Next part of the stage, let's go! Oh f <laughs> I shot the cop! Oh crap! Getting the hang of it! Haha! <laughs> Come on! What a weird game. I do wonder who played this. Let me know in the comments. Because I personally played most of the time some Time Crisis. Reload. Oh, that was my superpower. Oh, that's cool. I had the luck to get this thing completely booked, so it was absolutely a blast to the past and doing an unboxing together with you. But this is actually the next position, and that is actually why I'm putting it so high up in the ranking. But for the number one, I'm just going to be choosing the real arcade. Yeah, and this is with a couple of reasons. When you're looking at this light gun, it has real recoil. Downside is that we do have an extra adapter and there is a lot of, let's say, cable nightmare on this. So, but besides that, I've been playing it back in the day so much and I have a couple of different colors. Some of them do have a little bit of wear and tear like this one, but it's still a lot of fun. Also in here, we're having the option to switch between different systems and have all kinds of cool configurations. Every button is here so we can actually use this thing and yeah, we can just use it for almost so far. I've tested all kinds of system. And this is even PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn, but that's something for a different story. But this is my number one, and let's get into it. Yeah. Come on. And the feedback is so cool. And I played it back in the day so much with this particular gun. I think I'm going to be completely messing this up because I've been waiting too long for actually continuing to the stage. Oh, I can see I only have like 20 seconds. That's not going to be. You can also, the recall doesn't re spawn up great to the game itself, but. Ah, oh, completely messing it up. That's the fault of the red guy there. Oh, somebody's just throwing a grenade. But you can actually see why I'm shooting a little bit slower. It's going to be working so much better. But, unfortunately, my time is up. I do wonder if this is going to be better, if I'm going to be grabbing a different real arcade light gun, or maybe a different power supply. It all depends, it all depends. Because of the age of these things. Oh, 
Oh, that was a close one. Now it seems to be working fine. But also let's step it up and move to a different level. Everything seems to be working fine. The recoil, I don't know if this is normal, but I'm used to those gun for r the light guns. Oh, let's check out if we can skip this and start the game. Oh, quite difficult. Uh, ooh. Ah. I can still remember that I had this thing back in the day and it was absolutely mind-blowing that we have some recoil like in the arcade. It is possible that this duo of the age, this thing has been new for some time. Yeah. Yeah, this is just one of the best ones you can get because the recoil, we have different kind of system that supports and we have of course the connection over here so we can even put in pedal and play crisis like it should be with the pedal. So this is my top five and actually maybe there are some controllers or light guns I'm missing. Let me know in the comments but for me the real arcade gun is such a cool thing and if you can grab it for not a lot of money and you love light gun games and you haven't seen it here of course you should grab it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and it would be great to see you in the next video.